Welcome to another studio tutorial. In this video, I'm going to walk you through making your web page responsive. Now, as we can see here, this website isn't yet responsive. Things don't break down the way they should for smaller devices, and they start to look really squished here. Now, the best way to make your design responsive is to first create a desktop size design, and then as we scale things down and we start to see things look too squished, like here, for example, it's starting to look a little bit squished. We can click on this iPad example, and we see that that looks good, and then we can break down to the iPhone 8, and we see that that starts to look really broken. Now, as we make changes to this web page, these changes are only affected for the width that we have set and smaller. So any changes that we make here aren't going to be affected when this is resized to be wider. So that's important to keep in mind. So we're going to click on 8 plus, for example, and we can click inside of here and we can see that we have a parent box and in this parent box we have a few different items so we're going to select these items you can see that we're using percentage values and we have 33 percent so these items are split into thirds now we can set this to 50 percent now so that we can show two at a time but you notice if I click away that things are cropped within its parent box and that is because the parent has a fixed height that's 420 pixels. So I can set this to auto, and what that does is it automatically flexes the height to match the contents inside, so it's always going to grow with this content. And that's starting to look good, but it's also looking a little bit squished still. So there's another parent box here that has a padding set. So I can change the padding. Let's change this to 30 pixels, for example. And this is looking really good, but watch when I grab this drag handle and I start to drag this out, anything wider now keeps that three column, two row that we had set wider. And then anything that we set, any of the properties that we changed below that width is going to change here, including the padding, the margin, and also font sizes. So we can scroll up here and we can see Explore California, for example. We can come down and it's starting to look really squished around this area. And so we can make this font a little bit smaller. If we double click on this font, we can set this size now to 24 pixels. And now when I scale this up, it's going to stay at 36 pixels for any tablet size and anything smaller like mobile, it's going to go down to 24 pixels. Now remember when you have grids or different things that's going to expand in height as you break down, you want the parent box to be set to auto height so it can adapt to those different sizes. We're gonna come down a little bit more now and we can see now that this is starting to be squished. In fact, if we come here around this size here, we can see the text is starting to be hidden. So at this size, we can select all of these elements again and this time let's set this to 100% width. And now because we have all of these items set to wrap, they will break down underneath each other. And now we have a nice view at 100%. Let's make a few changes here. We can grab the parent box here, change the margin to be even thinner. And we may also notice that we need to expand our parent element a little bit more. But again, we can set the height here to auto, and that's going to flex for us and match that height. May also want to make a tweak here. And let's look at the final results now. So we can start to expand this out, and we can see we have a nice responsive website that adapts to the screen sizes that we're viewing it on. Another thing to quickly note here, if I click on these items, is that we're using the wrapping option for direction. So if we change this to from left to right, it's going to maintain that 33% of the parent element, but you can see that things are starting to be hidden inside of the parent element instead of wrapping the way they're supposed to. So let's change this back, and that's how you can get a nice wrapping effect that breaks down as you change the percentage values. And that's a quick look at how to make your web pages responsive.